All right, good morning. I'm here with Nikki. And uh, Nikki, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you came into our office? Well, I came in. Um, I had had a friend who had been here and had good things to say. And um, I had been experiencing food sensitivities for probably about 20 years at that point. Um, hives off and on for over 20 years. Um, diagnosed with a thyroid condition 10 years or so ago. And over time just was getting sicker and sicker, not getting better and was having trouble sleeping, um, having, having the hives, food sensitivities, I was a very limited diet. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have many things I could eat or not feel good. Headaches um, were the big things. And then over the past couple of years had been chronic fatigue, just yeah. to the point of falling asleep at traffic lights. Um, mm. And it just wasn't, things weren't working. Right. And so the more research I had started to do on my own and had looked at some of the things I thought might help, I heard that you were doing those things and I wanted to give it a try. Sure, awesome. And so, uh, so it sounds like you were suffering with these problems for how long would you say? Five years, ten years? Some of years, them years? up to you know more than twenty years. Um, mm -hmm. Some of the food sensitivities, the highs for sure. The fatigue had started a couple, probably two, three years yeah. before, um, and gotten really quite severe sure. um, to where it was impacting everyday life. The hives, you know, with some medications, were sort of manageable, right. um, annoying but manageable. Right. Um, and then also asthma and allergy things, um, and that had been going on since I was very young. Right. Um, the thyroid things with some of the irritability, some anxiety type issues, yeah. probably a good five or so years. Okay. So a big part of your life has been basically yeah. battling you know, the, these health problems in one way or another. Yeah. And, pro and let me ask you this, for a lot of people that might be watching this, you know, what was your typical treatment? Tell us, you know, what, I mean, what were you doing for 20-something plus years, you know, with, the, with um, these It was these all symptom management. Yeah. Um, you know, some of the allergies were diagnosed, and so I did allergy shots and allergy medication, but it was all, you have a symptom and you treat it. Right. Um, the food sensitivities, it started out small, so you eliminate those foods, but it really got to the point where I wasn't able to eat much. What, what, was a, what was a daily, you know, what were you eating on a daily basis? <laughs> All the wrong stuff I've All come to learn. Stuff. But no, um, I mean, I, I ate a clean diet. I didn't eat chemicals, oh. preservatives, um, things like that. If it had more than a couple ingredients on the package, I didn't buy it. Mm -hmm. um, but I was eating whole grains, um, fruits and vegetables, very little protein, um, you know, a lot of eggs. The same thing over and over. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there weren't, um, it certainly expanded my diet now in yeah. a different direction. Um, but it was, it, you know, it was hard to go out to eat with anybody, and if I did, I usually felt sick afterwards. Right. So every day it was impacted in some way. Yeah. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, just share a little bit about really kind of what made our office different. What did we do with you that the last, you know, three, four, five, six different doctors didn't do with you? Kind, think, of, kind of describe that a little bit, what that process was like. Absolutely. It, you know, I think the main thing was getting to the root of kind of what's going on and not just treating the symptoms. Sure. Um, you know, I would have been up to, I think, five or six prescription medications when I came in. Um, I'm off all of them at all, this point. All, all off all of them. All, yeah. all medications. Um, awesome. So, so that, that's been a huge bonus. Um, but I, th I think the thing that really appealed was that while you're using natural things to help, you're also very scientific. And right. so it doesn't lose that aspect of, you know, you're still looking at lab work and yeah. looking at, you know, how our bodies are working, but you're, you're approaching it then with natural things and getting to the root of the cause, which was ultimately what was helpful. Yeah. And so on a scale of 1 to 10 or 0% or to 100%, tell us how much better you feel today um, and, and just, you know, tell us, you know, a little bit about, tell us a little bit about that if you don't mind. Sure. I, I, you know, it, it, I'm always hard to put a number on things, but I would say it's 100% better in the sense yeah. that I feel like I have my life back. I don't sure. feel tied to when am I going to be able to take a nap again because I know I'm going to be tired. Um, or I feel like I have the energy to do things. Um, I still have a, you know, I think there's lingering things mm -hmm. like with the food sensitivities. So I still have a, um, it's a restricted diet, but it's, it's a healthy diet, mm -hmm. and it's much easier to find things to eat. Um, and so I don't feel like every day I'm working around how I feel. Sure. Yeah, really important. And uh, let me ask you this. What would you tell someone who might be watching this video, and they're kind of like, you know, what do I do? I've been to so many different doctors, and the doctors keep running the same tests, and I keep getting the same results, and, you know, I'm not getting anywhere. And, you know, what would you tell someone about, you know, um, their, your experience in our office, mm -hmm. and what would you tell them, um, you know, just about, um, you know, uh, someone who might be just maybe a little bit skeptical? I think, you know, I, 
start to do some research. Um, do some on your own. I did a lot online. Um, I, I would also say, you know, come in, get to know you a little bit. Yeah. You're always helpful to meet. Uh, my experience has been great. I feel like my needs have been met. If I, I have something going on, I can I can have that addressed. I, I bring it up to you and, and, and you look into it, research it. Um, and, and so I feel like if you're proactive about that, yeah. that's always been um, helpful. And, you know, I know that you've shared with other people that consult with your current patients and the things yeah. and I would suggest to do that because there's no better way to know what really goes on than awesome. to get it awesome. straight from the people. Absolutely. Well thanks for doing this testimonial for us. I hope this Welcome. testimonial is really just really encouraging to a lot of people that are out there that uh, like I said you know felt like you felt maybe like they were in a dead end. Yeah. They're spinning their wheels. They're not going anywhere and they just need something that's going to really start to, to look and address you know all the underlying issues of really why we get sick in the first place mm -hmm. so uh, i want to thank you for doing this really You're appreciate welcome. it